Hey everybody, it's me, DG Tronic, and today I'm recording a video to show you guys how Mac OS Sierra, the public beta, is running on my early 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro. So let me show you the specs of my Mac first. Alright, so here it is. It's Mac OS Sierra right now, version 10.12 beta, and this is a MacBook Pro, 13-inch, early 2011. Here's the processor info, 2.7 GHz, Intel Core i7, 8 GB of RAM. The graphics card is the Intel HD Graphics 3000. You can see all that information. So let's take a look at some of the new features. Like, let's say, storage up here. That's a new feature. Tells you how you can maximize your storage. Of course, they want you to pay for iCloud. So, that's the first option right there. And it tells you how much each part is taking applications, documents, mail, all that free trash automatically. You can turn it on. It flees, it clears your trash after 30 days. So that's that. I believe everything else is the same. You can see that it's running fairly smoothly now. Of course, my Mac is kicking up now. You can hear it. One last time, this is the specs of my Mac. Now, let's take a look at some of the features that we are all looking forward to. Let's start with, I'm not going to beat around the bush, with Siri. You can see the Siri app icon right there. And also right there. So unfortunately, Siri on the Mac does not work with calling it the name you would call it on the iPhone. I don't want to say the phrase, so you have to either click on the icons or use a keyboard combination to wake it up, but that's okay. So I'm going to tap on the icon on the upper right corner. Hey Siri, what is the date today? It's Sunday, July 10th, 2016. What is the temperature right now? It's currently 18 degrees. Can you make me an appointment for tomorrow at 12 o'clock afternoon? Okay, I set up your appointment for tomorrow. Shall I schedule it? Cancel. Okay then, I won't create the event. Can you give me the latest hockey game scores? Hockey coming up. The Penguins won the Stanley Cup Final 4-2 over the Sharks. They won the last game 3-1 to one on June 12, 2016. Siri, can you look up pictures of cars on Google? Photos didn't find any photos. Siri, look up pictures of cars on Google. Here are some images of cars on Google I found on the web. Beep. 
Siri, look up pictures of designer clothing on Google. Searching Google for images of designer clothing. So that's some very interesting stuff that Siri does. It does a lot more than that, but I'm not going to make the video that long. Okay, another feature I want to show you is tabs. And the simplest thing I can show you is on maps. See, I have two tabs here. Now, of course, they're both looking at the same thing. Let's make one look at a different place so you can tell that it's different. So that's one tab, and right up here, I have another tab open. And how do I get that for a map? So I have to go to File, and then tap on New Tab in order to get the tab bar. And after that, all you need to do is click on the plus sign here to get a new tab opened. So that's really neat. All right, well, another thing that I want to show you guys really quickly is picture in picture. Now, apparently, this only works if you're using Safari as a web browser. And picture in picture is the feature where you can run a video on top of anything else you're doing. And best example I could find was Vimeo. I couldn't get YouTube to work with it. Apparently YouTube doesn't have the feature yet, but let's go to Vimeo here. Okay, now when you are on Vimeo or any other website that supports this, the icon that you get is that icon right there. You can see it in the middle, that middle icon. Okay. So, let me get this video playing here. Now I'm going to go tap that icon. So now, anything I do, that video stays on the top. And if I want the video to go back, is I click on that icon, and it goes back. So right there is the picture-in-picture picture feature. Tweet this for me. May I use your Twitter account to post a tweet? Yes. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Oh, huh. I have to actually say no. Okay. You can ah. send, cancel, review, include location, mention someone in your contacts, add hashtags, or change your tweet. Change tweet. What would you like to say? I'm trying Mac OS Sierra right now. Stay tuned. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Change tweet. Okay. What would you like to say? I'm trying Mac OS Sierra right now. Stay tuned for my video. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Change tweet. Okay. What would you like to say? I am trying macOS Sierra right now. Stay tuned. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Change tweet. 
What would you like to say? I'm trying macOS Sierra right now. Stay tuned for my full video. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Change tweet. I don't understand. Change tweet. <laughs> Try that one more time. Tweet. I'm trying Mac OS Sierra right now. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Well, it's kind of having a hard time recognizing my accent, I guess. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? No, cancel. Okay, let me know if there's anything else you need. Tweet, I'm trying macOS Sierra. Stay tuned for the video. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I sent your tweet. So that's one of the things it can do. Now let's try another one. Open CNET.com. So it does some really cool things. It opens things, closes things. Now, let's say my mail was turned off. Let me turn off mail so we can try this feature. Write an email. To whom would you like to send this message? To myself. What's the subject of the email? Just trying Siri on my Mac. What would you like your email to say? I really like Siri on my Mac so far. It's very neat. Mac OS Sierra rocks. Here's your email message to Ashkan Ardalan. Let's see. Ready to send it? Change email. Oh, I guess it doesn't do that, but... Well, you see, you get the point. It works pretty well. You just have to be close to the microphone so it hears you correctly. Turn the screen brightness down halfway. So there is a little bit of bugginess with Siri. It doesn't always work. Of course, this is a beta, so you kind of expect that. This does work though, it's one of the commands that actually Sorry, works. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection. Please try again in a moment. Turn the screen brightness down halfway. Okay, I made the screen darker. Lower the volume on the Mac. Sorry, I'm not able to change the volume. Turn the screen brightness up all the way. Okay, this is as bright as it gets. Open calendar. Okay, so as you can see, Maps is a little buggy with its graphical look and pre <laughs> presentation. Looks kind of funny.
and a little bit um, broken up. But I mean, this is beta, so it's to be expected. Notification center looks a little bit different, as you can see. Read me my emails. Let's see if you have any new mail. You have 25 emails. The latest was sent at 11.38 a.m. from Yub TV, with the subject, ending soon. Get up to 50% off on live TV. At 7.22 a.m., Locker Gnome Deals sent you an email with the subject, Build Your Million Dollar Game and Live the Gamer Dream. So you can see Siri reads your emails. At 7.10 a.m., Bing News for Professionals sent you an email, subject, News Pro Email Update, July 10th, 2016. Shall I read the rest? No, that's okay. Here's what I found on the web for no, that's okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny.